Hi guys, my name is Josh and you're watching the NSX Experiment. Today we're going to be installing an LED interior light upgrade. We're also giving away a car. That's right, you heard me. <laughs> That's right, you heard him. You're in my shot, you creep. <laughs> I like NSX. <laughs> I, know you, I know you do. Stay tuned for details. So the interior light kit came in and I decided to go with Precision LED because I've bought some kits from them in the past and it's been over a year now. I put a set in the TSX and I put a set in the wife's RDX and all the bulbs are still bright and no issues and they even had a video online showing you know the easiest way to do the replacements of the bulbs for the TSX and that saved me a lot of time and prevented things from breaking so I decided to give them another shot for the NSX. It comes with an interior tool kit pretty nice and I went with pretty much every bulb that they had for the NSX. We got some reverse lights, courtesy lights, license plate lights, trunk lights. Didn't know my trunk had lights. Maybe they sent me some extra bulbs and they look different. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. Map lights and dome light. I don't think I have map lights either. I have to check into that as well. Anyway, we're going to go through and see what bulbs are needed and which ones are extras, and then we got some spares. Anyway, here we go. Lo and behold, there is a trunk light. Let's get that bad boy opened up. So it's that style bulb, which means we need this one. Although the connectors look a little different in size. But we'll see if it fits. Success. Since we're already in the trunk, next one we're gonna do are the reverse lights. Just got to take these little clips out along this back panel and access the backs of the taillights. We'll get that done now. There's the reverse light. Trim panel's loose. There's the bulb. So we'll give that a twist and pull. So there's the old reverse light. And there's the new LED reverse light. Looks like the same size. It's just a simple push and twist. And we'll get that installed and then we'll check that out later. Next up are the license plate lights. So here we are under the back bumper, and there's the license plate lamps. And so we'll see if we can pull those out and figure out how to switch the bulbs out. All right, the lights are out. And it's just basically four screws that hold these things in. I'm gonna actually take these lenses off and clean them up a little bit. That's, that's pretty bad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that now. So the lenses are off. For the license lamps and you can see they're pretty ratty looking so I'm going to try to clean them up hopefully at least a little bit So the glass cleaner got most of it, but it took some hot soapy water and a little elbow grease to get the rest of it off and get it really clean. Not worried so much about the rust on the mount points, but I wanted to get the lenses clean at least. Well, the lenses are back on, and you can see they look way better than they did. So now, it's time to replace the bulbs. This looks like just a simple twist and pull. So the new bulbs fit pretty good. Just a simple twist and pull pull the old bulb out insert the new bulb 
Oops. There we go. Reinsert. Push and twist. Done. Fits in there pretty good. We'll test it out. Next up are the courtesy lights because it's important to be courteous. Huh. Somebody super glued this. One more light down here in the foot well right up there so we're gonna see what kind of bulb that is so there's the foot well light this is a weird plastic housing and it just has a clip on the back here push that in and put this down <sighs> So it just has this push clip and pulls out the back of the housing there. And then a bulb is inside this little box. Let's go check it out. So it's in this weird plastic housing. I've not seen a, a light like this before. Let me see if I can use this little tool here to... Perfect. Okay, so it's just like this little push bulb. At least that's what it looks like. Yeah. So it's another one of these style. I didn't even know this light was down there, so I don't know. I don't think I'm... Well, let me see what I've got. I've got a couple extra of the map lights because I didn't use those, but those are obviously not the right kind. And then I have this second trunk light. It's one of those push style, so... Maybe we'll look out and it'll fit. There goes nothing. Wow. Fits. Sweet. Let's plug it in and see how it looks. Alright. Can't see much right now, but we should see if this works pretty quick when I plug it in. And, uh, here we go. Holy smokes. Man, that's cranking bright. Good gravy. So you can see it just pushes into place. You've got a push tab there. Another push tab on this side. And there's a hole right here that it just kind of snaps into place. Can't see anything. Just kind of feeling blind. There we go. I think I found it. And there it is. Boom. Man, that's way brighter. Holy smokes. Right on. Bonus light. The interior visibility before was pretty lousy, but with these new LED bulbs, the difference is humongous. You can see everything now. It was so different, in fact, when I was recording the before scenes to show you guys the difference. The camera indicated a message on the screen suggesting I check to make sure the lens cap was off. That's how dark it was, and that's how little output these old bulbs were putting out.
I've been pleased with the interior LED light upgrades I've done in the TSX and the wife's RDX, but I'm extremely impressed with the difference in the NSX, which is why I highly recommend you guys looking into one of these LED interior light upgrades if you haven't done so already. Unless, of course, you like the whole mystique of trying to find stuff in your car in the dark. Your preference. If you do look into it, I recommend Precision LED. Not only do they send you a free toolkit, the shipping's fast, and they have good customer service if you need it. Now, just to clarify, Precision LED isn't paying me to do this video. Again, the only reason I'm pr plugging them is because I've had a good experience with them their product and customer service both in the past and want to pass it on to you guys. Just like I did with Heeltoe and the Spoon Mirror a few weeks ago. If I am getting paid to do this, I'll let you know. I'll tell you that they're the sponsor. But for now, I'm just letting you guys know because I had a good experience with them. That's all. And now for the car giveaway. To celebrate our first 100 subscribers, not only are we giving away this 1990 Silver Acura NSX, Brace yourself. We're also giving away this yellow 2002 JDM NSX Type R. Now I know what you're thinking. How could you guys possibly be giving away two NSXs? Well, we've got some pretty deep pockets over here at the NSX Experiment. That's how. Luke, why don't you tell them a little bit about what they're going to win? Okay. This is cool because it has his pop-up headlights and it's so fast. Well, not too fast. <laughs> so, it's fast and it's like this one, but it really doesn't have pop-up headlights. But it's cool. I like this one though, and I like this one too. I like both of these. The rules are pretty simple. If you'd like a shot at winning one of these cars, simply comment in the section below and say Hot Wheels followed by your color preference. So either Hot Wheels Yellow or Hot Wheels Silver. Next episode, Luke will randomly draw a name out of a hat and the first name pulled will get the car of their choice. The runner up will get a 50-50 shot at getting the car of their choice. It's that simple. Thanks for stopping by guys. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch, like, comment, subscribe, share, suggest. I appreciate it all. Have a great week.